In 2013, Derry, London Derry became the UK's first city of culture. One and a half million visitors flooded in from all over the world to see sites like the city's new Peace Bridge, part of a huge regeneration. The last time APSI was here was in 2010. In the six years in between, there's been a seismic shift in the landscape of local government. delegates have come here from all over the UK for innovative and inspiring ideas to transform their services by doing more with less. This is all about the survival of the fittest. How are you managing? Well, I think it's been tough. Let's be honest about it. Local authorities have taken massive cuts in the last six years. It's forced us to be really innovative and to change how we do everything and to question everything. And one of the purposes of APSI as an association is we get together as local authorities to share that experience and learn from each other. There's no new, you know, there's no prize for reinventing wheels. We can do things differently by learning from each other more effectively. It's fantastically important. Even this morning, the discussions I've had with the other local government associations shows we need to be speaking to each other more. That we shouldn't we shouldn't wait to reinvent the wheel. There are clear opportunities for us working together. I think the LAP want to see their communities tidy. They don't want uh, weeds on the streets. They don't want actually roads unrepaired. We've got to make sure those things happen. We just need to look at how it's done differently. And there are so many opportunities, so much energy out there, both within councils and actually within uh, communities, that the councils need to learn how to sort of tap into those better. The speakers here bring quite a diverse range of uh, views which broadens your, broadens your view of the future for local government. Councils have responded really well, they've transformed over the last few years. Uh, mainly in Scotland the transformation has been within authorities, although there's been some sharing uh, of resources and that will continue and local government will rise to the challenge. It's not easy, it's not where local government wants to find itself, but it will rise to the challenge. Future local government in Wales has budget pressures of upwards of £200 million um, every single year. Local government will still have to innovate uh, and reform. It will have to work in partnership with the Welsh Government. Uh, it will have to collaborate and it will have to look for more transformational uh, approaches to public service reform because all the low hanging fruit has been picked. Well, for the first time since the early 70s, uh, councils have been afforded a role in a programme for government. That means they're not just concentrating on, on, on births and burials, they're actually taking, taking charge of investment and future planning for local communities. It's a big overhaul, but the powers have to be transferred along with the resources, and that's where the challenge lies. What does it mean for democracy? It's a huge challenge for local democracy, and strengthening local democracy is obviously what NILGA, the Local Government Association, and our 11 partner councils want to do. We have a new political environment in Northern Ireland where we're talking about exciting things like waste rather than the contentious issues of the past. In order for that to take practice and take root in local people and local communities, we need further devolution to councils in terms of resources, powers, and trust. Local authorities face unprecedented challenges and everyone is here today to share ideas and best practice. Rather than resenting what has been lost to local authorities, let's try and reinvent things to wrestle back power, to make sure that we as local politicians can respond to the needs of our people, the people we're in touch with and the people for whom we have a desire to improve their lot. And who's adapting and who's potentially in danger of not surviving? Yeah, I think those that are really open to looking at ideas and being quite imaginative and not worrying about being sort of in charge or controlling things. For those that are able to, to share their knowledge, their expertise, their premises with other organisations, share their, their, um, their information with other people and really think differently, they're the ones that I think are getting the best out of it at the moment. And it's great to come to an event like this because we can meet everybody in one location and understand how we can help them save money. We provide software solutions for local government. So coming along to the APSI event today gives us a chance to meet with councillors and heads of service and directors who are looking at bringing in more efficiencies and doing more for the citizens. 
it's a real good opportunity for uh, local authorities to get together to discuss um, issues that they're facing. It's important learning what other people are doing to address the same problems you've got in terms of efficiencies, how do you provide better services. We all think we've got a, our own problems, but everyone's got the same problem, learn from each other. And what do local authorities need to do to deliver the, the seemingly undeliverable? So, if there's no more resources around, then it's flexibility to get on with the job. Uh, flexibility to deliver local outcomes that suit our communities. It means that fragile high streets can be strengthened. It means that the, the local environment can be improved. It means that our coast can be engaged with coastal adaptation measures driven by local communities themselves, not by a top-down approach, which is often uh, the way we've seen it in terms of democracy here in NI. Life's too short, you know, to get worried and bogged down all the problems and all the challenges. We've got to really rise to it. And I think, you know, we, have, we owe that to our communities to do things in a different way and be brave about it. It is the art of the possible. And in terms of accountability and innovation, local government is a 24-7 organisation. It, it's directly aware of the needs of local people. And when you've got needs coupled with diminished resources, you become resourceful. So be, there's no more innovative part of the public sector than local government. It's not a criticism of central government, it just can be done better locally. And let's be more responsive to what people need. Indeed, let's give our residents what they want.